Hey y'all, um, in this video I want to talk about why I decided to make a lot of my older videos private. Because as you guys know, I've enlisted, I would say about 75% of the videos that I've ever uploaded. And I did that because I just was really unhappy with the way that I would express my feelings and get my points across. Um, first of all, I was very ignorant back then. Sometimes I would even use words incorrectly. Like I was, I didn't even know the meaning to some of the, <laughs> the words that I was using. That's how, how angry I was when I would get up on here and rant about things that bothered me or affected me or a situation that I may have recently experienced or, um, you know, a situation I may have experienced or gone through. And YouTube was therapeutic for me. Uh, allowed me to share my feelings and thoughts about different situations with you know, people all around the world who I don't even know. Um, and I would just get up on here and rant sometime and I would, I would do that before allowing myself to, you know, cool off and calm down so I can collect my thoughts and get my points across more effectively and in a way where people would respect me and, um, I would maintain some sort of credibility because some of the shit that I, I, I said, um, was just so ignorant. And it really didn't reflect what I was feeling, but because I was speaking, you know, with so much emotion and not logic, I would say things that I really didn't mean um, or use words that I, I probably shouldn't have used. And um, my perspectives have also changed on many different things. I have a more open mind now. I'm not as ignorant as I used to be. Um, and I've grown a lot. And so some people will say, well, keep those videos up, you know, so people can see your growth. But you know, I have a reputation, you know what I mean? Like when I became very successful on my, on my cooking channel, which is on YouTube, um, I would get a lot of... I would receive a lot of messages from my fans, like, asking me, is this the way you feel about women? Or is this the way you feel about light-skinned people? Why did you say this about biracial people? Why did you say this about people who date interracially? Is this who you really are? And it's like, no, that's not who I really am. You know what I mean? And I don't want people thinking. I know because I got some haters that are going to say, well, you only deleted the videos that is how you truly felt you just didn't want to receive the backlash or lose fans or no it wasn't about that because me i'm a person who stand on what i believe in y'all know me i don't give a fuck uh, you know what i mean how somebody you know feel about my position on any given topic I, I may speak on you know what i mean like i feel what i feel and it is what it is but a lot of the things that I was saying is not, it don't really reflect what I truly felt. It was just me speaking from a place of emotion. And I was, I would get up on here and do videos while I was angry. And I think that's probably one of my biggest regrets. You can't speak out of anger because you're going to say things that you really don't mean to say or didn't mean to say. Um, and you're, you're just not going to express yourself in a way that people can understand and in in a way that um in a way that 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 people would res respect um and so I look back at a lot of those older videos and they just make me cringe I was like Ugh, did I say that I'm like why did I say it like that like because you was not thinking, Jay. That's the reason why you said it like that. And that's just the, the truth of the matter. I just wasn't thinking. I just was talking. Speaking from a place of emotion. You know? Um. And so, uh, yeah, I'm very... I'm not proud of a lot of the things that I said. 
Um, and it's not so much the, the positions that I held were wrong. Like, I don't have any problem with some of the positions that I held. I just think that they could have been, the messages could have been delivered better. And, and I could have done a better job of articulating myself um, and expressing myself. Um, and some of those videos, I was just so belligerent. And we'll just say that some of the dumbest shit. And I'm just like, you're generalizing, you know, you're insulting people. Um, you, you, you're you saying shit that can't be supported with facts. You know what I mean? Like, you're like wh wh where is this coming from? Like, you're just giving your opinion, but you're passing them off like they're, you're, you're stating them like they're facts. And they're not facts, they're just your opinion. And some of these opinion will be uh, some of these opinions will be very ignorant ones at that, very close minded, um, or at least I would I would appear I would look like I looked like a very close minded individual, based on some of the things that I was saying, and it's not it it those things I was saying didn't truly reflect how I felt. Um, it was just a reflection of a person speaking out of anger. And so, uh, when I look back at those older videos, I just cringe. And I just think that I can redo those videos and just, you know, do a better job of, you know, conveying exactly what I want to say and what I really feel. Like, um, I think it was a video I did on interracial dating, and I said, you people who date interracially are self-hating, and y'all hate your own race, and you don't love yourselves, and um, a lot of you are just hurt because you've been, a lot of you are just bitter and hate black people because you've been hurt by a black partner that you were previously with, um, and it's just like, huh? Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, how do you know that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what I should have said was, in my experience from what I have seen and from the people that I know who date interracially, it appears that a lot of them have been hurt by their black exes. And that's the reason why they've decided to date uh, non-black people. Um... You know, and I should have just kind of left it at that, but I should have, you know, just made sure that I, I, I made it clear that I was speaking from my experience and not spoke in such a authoritative manner. You know what I mean? Like I did a lot of that, like this is this and this is that and that is that. And it's just like. You speaking in a lot of absolutes. I, I did a lot of that too. Speaking in absolutes and just and just saying things that couldn't can't be couldn't even be proven. You know what I mean? Um, and so I'm just really I'm really not proud of that, and um, that's the reason why I took the videos down. So what I'll be doing now is just going through a lot of my older videos, seeing which ones I want to uh, keep and which ones I just want to permanently get rid of, and the ones that I want to keep. Um, that I'm not so turned off by, y'all end up re-uploading them. So I'm going to be re-uploading quite a few videos, um, deleting up permanently, deleting a lot, and um, probably just starting over. I'll probably, you know, try to come back on here as much as possible, talking about, you know, a variety of issues, but just doing it in a more mature way. You'll get a more mature um, J Love 47, you know, more sensible J Love 47. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Just wanted to get up on here and just uh, let you guys know that because there are a lot. There's people that have been asking me, obviously. Um, a lot of J Love 47 fans who have been asking me what happened to my older videos and um, why um, I decided to delete a lot of them. So that's all, guys. Later.